All right, man, well, I just pulled my dad's boat to the launch here on the Jafuncta River, and we've got some fun fishing things planned for today. I'm really excited to go out. We got my friend Emil Canjamella coming along with us today, and we're gonna go out and try and catch some sockele and some brim. Very, very good conditions today. We've got warm weather. It's been really warm here the past three or four days here in South Louisiana. And we've also got a nice clear river. So I'm really expecting some good things today. We got plenty of sockele tackle, plenty of brim tackle. It should be a lot of fun. Stick with us and we'll see how we do. Dude, Emil's starting the day off right. He's got a sandwich. Yes, sir. All right, we just pulled up to spot number one. I'm starting off with a little micro jig under a cork, trying to catch some sockele. Emil's starting a little beetle spin. Gonna see what we can do in here. Oh, oh. Uh, my dad fished it last time, and he he caught sockele on it. So, man, I just missed one. It, dude, that was a good hit. There he is. There he is. That might be a sock away. That might be a sock. There it is. It's a small sock away. But it's a sock away. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. On the custom black and pink mini. All right, so we're not keeping fish today. We're going to let him go. Hopefully we'll catch some more. All right, so Emil took his spinner off. So now he's just putting on a cork. Same thing I got on. It's a 132nd ounce head. And we got some crappie nibbles we're gonna tip it with as well. Dude, what a freaking morning. Like this is, this is nice. This is warm. I prefer it if the sun was out, but it, the sun just drives them up under the shade to where it makes them more predictable. This is like, they can get, really be anywhere when it's cloudy like this, which Makes it a little bit more difficult. Man, dude, that was a sock away. <laughs> that was a freaking sock away. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, of course. Dude, right when I'm... There we go. There's a sockele. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Oh, hey. it came off. There we go. It's not a big one, but man, that is a tasty specimen right there. See ya, buddy. Y'all doing any good? No. Yeah. No. We only caught two. They're not on yet. No. Nah. All right, good luck to y'all. Y'all have a good day. No way. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Emil's got a freaking sock away. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, nice. That's a freaking tank. Nice. All right. That is a very nice sock away. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, I got the, I brought the clicker. You brought the clicker? Yeah. yeah that was good. It's in that, it's in that, on that dashboard. All right, so I'm gonna switch. I got a live worm on right now. I'm about to see if we can catch any broom. And I suspect we'll get a, get a fish pretty soon. We've been getting a lot of brim bites on these sockele corks. So we'll see what happens. Oh, good. Gee whiz, dude. Second cast. I suspect we're gonna Bro, that dude's... What is that? Oh, oh it's a freaking catfish. <laughs> Look at this. First time you put on a worm, you know Look at catching. this. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Well, he would be good to eat if we were. Yeah, what is that? Is that a channel guy? I don't know my catfish. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, that catfish bent the hook, so I got to re rig. Second cast. And we caught a catfish. Not what I was expecting, but you never know what you're going to catch on live worms. All right, we are back to the beginning of our canal. Gonna go ahead and make a move. Hopefully, Emil can get that out of a tree. Dude, she's like four ten or four eleven. She's. Is she? There he is. There's another one. All right, all right, all right. It's a little better fish, maybe. There we go. Nice. All right, perfect. A little small, but we're not keeping fish today, so it doesn't matter. All right, so our last spot, we added a couple of brim. This spot, we're gonna try and catch some sockleye. We got some good looking docks up here, got some trees. So we're gonna see if we can put some in the boat. Still throwing that custom pink Matrix Mini. Might change colors here in a little bit, but we'll see what happens at this, at this dock. Water looks really good in here, nice and clean. Confident we'll catch a couple fish. Ow. Not like that. I don't know if you feel like re rigging, but you might want to tie a 16th on for that that dock up there, one we fished last time. Tie Just tie line in it, yeah. Holy shit. Holy, dude! Did I? Dang! All right, I got a little bass, <laughs> a little bass right there. Oh yeah, he took it all the way down. That's what's fun about these little minis. You don't know what you're gonna catch. They've already caught four species today. There's a little bass, and we're gonna let him go. All right, so Emil and I are changing it up. We've got a dock coming up here. We're gonna skip. We're going to start off fishing tight line with a 16th ounce jig head. I'm trying to skip this bait underneath these docks. I prefer the docks on sunny days, but hopefully there's a couple of them lingering we can catch. Oh, I hate. Fish, fish on, sock away. There we go. Nice, dude. I love the Heck I yeah, love man, that's awesome. All right, so what I'm bringing up here is just a little 1 16th ounce jig head. Got a popsicle colored grub on here. I really like that popsicle color. It's a good, good one for sockleye. It's tying a little improved clinch knot. And we're gonna see if we can jig up some of these sockleye. Instead of uh, instead of fishing them under a cork, try and tight line them. Emil just caught one like that, so I'm switching over. And we'll see if this is the, the best technique for him today. Fish, fish on, sock away. Look at this. Nice. Dude, that's a slap. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me grab him. Oh, let me grab him. Let me grab him. Let me grab him. Yes, let's go, dude. That's a slab. Dude, I should That is a slab, dude. Nice. That's a big sock away. That's a really good I think fish. I might keep just him. All right, dude, that is a slab nice, right the there. Popsicle. Popsicle. 16th ounce. Very nice fish. Where was he in relation to like, was he by a tree or a pad or? Uh, no, it's like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you have a nibble or no? No. No. Bro, uh-uh. <laughs> dude, what is the deal? Oh shit, I got one fish. <gasps> dude, 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 dude. It's a big one, yeah. Oh, oh, stay on, dude. Stay on. Stay on. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it came off. I want to fish this tree. Damn it. Dude, we almost doubled up. Yes. Make a Boom! Sock away, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna let him go. See if there's some more. Mm. 
That was a donation. Fish, fish on. He, he, dude, that's a nice fish. Hold on. Let me get the net in case it's a sockle. Nice. Dude, that's a nice freaking fish. Look at that. Dude, that's so awesome. sweet. I was sitting here tying up and Emil just caught this very nice suckle. Look at that. Beautiful. This has been awesome. Oh yeah. Fish, fish on, fish on. Sockle, sockle on. Nice. That's a tank, dude. That's a freaking tank. Damn, we should have kept it. We should have kept fish. Fish on. Another sockle. Look at this. Another one. And we're throwing them all back. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're throwing back filet mignon. All right, so we found today that the uh, the tight line has been far more productive than fishing under a cork. And one thing that we've been noticing is we're casting on the bank, and as we're bringing it off, that's when the fish are. That's when we're getting some bites. They're a little bit off the trees, off the structure, deeper in the water column today. And that's probably just because it's a little bit early for them. So they're probably not full blown spawning yet. And oh, I thought I had one. And that seems to be what's been most effective today is tight lining these 1 16th ounce jig heads. And the hot color definitely has been this popsicle colored grub on here. This is really a great color. It's a purple with a pink. It's got a big chartreuse tail and the sock layer gobbling it up. There he is, fish on. Nice sock lay, dude. That's a good one. Nice fish. That's a really nice sock lay. Oh, dude, that's a slab. That is a slab right there. That is a. We'll take him. All day. Off. A little bit off. Yeah, off that. Slightly off that green. But dude, I was my bait was just sitting there. That's the second one that has done that. Just sitting there. This dude just thumped it. Big white crappie, I think. I think it's a white. I think it's a white crappie. That dude, I hate to just. <laughs> that is a sin, dude. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Let's see if he, he was off. All right. So with our presentation today, we're just casting it out and just kind of barely moving the bait. The, the fish we've noticed want the bait really really slow and in fact i've gotten some of my hits when the bait's just sitting there so you want to move it slow along the bottom one thing when you do move it slow though you get a lot of snags so you just got to kind of deal with it like i'm hung right here um you get a lot of snags you're going to lose a lot of jig heads but that's just part of the game that's part of catching these fish tight lining like this just got to bring a lot of jig heads bring a lot of baits and you'll go through them but you also catch a lot of crappie all right, Emil and I just pulled up to a new spot, new area. The water is a little bit dirtier over here, which is kind of concerning, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to be tight lining again, and Emil's throwing the same popsicle. We're actually throwing the exact same bait. So, yeah, now we got these shade lines. That's going to be where they are. So, probably want to, I might put a cork on. Let's see. All right, so I'm tying the cork back on. It's putting on that same black and pink I had on from this morning. And the sun has come out now, so I'm hoping that it's going to push these fish into the shade. And this cork will be able to target them really well. There he is, fish on. Is that a sock away? 
Nice, nice, nice. Good sock away. Good sock away. No, he came off. You got one? He came off. Oh, dang it. I mean, we're releasing him, but I still would have liked to have seen him. <laughs> Quick release, I guess. Quick release. In the shade. Man, I tell you what, that was a whole lot of fun. Caught a ton of fish, ton of sockeye all day long and three other species of fish. Just a phenomenal day and definitely a sign that spring is right around the corner. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.